Hello viewers, you welcome to Nemi Consult Designs. Um, you can visit my YouTube channel um, uh, via Nemi Consult Designs to see more of my um, tutorial videos. Um, that would be very much helpful to you. Um, you can see on your screen the list of softwares that uh, you can actually learn uh, from me. Uh, there are um, you have uh, Orion 18 for reinforced concrete structures design. You have Start Pro Connect Edition for RC design and uh, design of steel structures. Um, you have um, uh, Proto Structures um, for RC design as well and the design of steel structures. You have um, uh, AutoCAD um, uh, Revit architecture. All these softwares are very much available. You can get to learn them um, from me. Just. Uh, visit my youtube uh, uh, channel um, some uh, topics have been uh, treated over there um, and that's where you can you know put a call through uh, once you are in nigeria and we we, we can uh, get to meet and i uh, will uh, put you through on some of these softwares including the installation as well so today in this video i want to show us um how to use um, protest structures to design an earth retaining structure um, that is a, a retaining wall um, it's actually a cantilever retaining wall as you can see on your screen so um, you can see uh, the, 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 the dimensions of the uh, earth retaining structure the retaining wall and we're going to design this retaining wall using uh, these uh, given uh, dimensions and uh, if you want to design your own retaining wall you have to make use of the uh, site dimensions what you have on ground and uh, uh, the, the the soil uh, uh, results that you got from the laboratory uh, to uh, carry out your design so here we have the wall height to be 3.9 meters uh, with the wall base plates to be 600 and so on so we are going to be making use of these uh, dimensions for the retaining wall and as well you have your uh, soil uh, parameters the angle of internal friction 30 uh, unit weight of soil drives 18 saturated unit weight because we have saturated unit weight because um, the, the 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 backfill has um, a water table raised at uh, a given height of 1.5 meters from the uh, base level so let's now open our um, Protest structures uh, details so we can you know perform this uh, analysis and design so we'll go over to um, Prota details so to carry out the analysis and design just uh, find your retaining wall at the design library over there so you click on it you find cantilever retaining wall just click on it we're going to be as fast as possible because I wouldn't want this video to be uh, too lengthy so the height of our retaining wall is actually 3900 as was given um, the you just type yes uh, click on yes so the, the wall length is 30 meters that's the length uh, of the of the wall is 30 meters that is 30 thousand millimeters so you have the stem top width as you can see a there's that's a at the top here to be 300 let's maintain 300 so you have a sense eccentricity from left um, that's E. We want our retaining wall to be uh, as straight as possible, so the eccentricity has to be zero. As you can see, as I am imputing the dimensions, it's actually reflecting on the shape of retaining wall, actually giving us what uh, we desire. So the base plate uh, front length, uh, from what we have, the base plate front length is actually um, 600. So we are going to employ that 600. So the stem bottom width, um, that's for B2, is 300. We don't want any variation in the stem uh, dimension. So the the base plate back length is actually um, 1,500, as we have here. So you can see um, the base plate back length is 1,500. So um, let's impute that. Um, that's all um, um, again you can see you can see these this shape um, the base of the retaining wall here has um, a key sometimes you would uh, desire your base to uh, have a, a key at the base so that um, it helps to you know ensure that your sliding safety is satisfied you know most times you might uh, 
uh, impute your dimensions and uh, carry out your analysis and find out that maybe the overturning safety uh, is satisfied but the sliding safety isn't satisfied but you don't want to spend more on the on adding concrete to your, to your retaining wall so you might actually just uh, include a key at the base you know um, um, protastructure also allows you to carry out such design but in this case the retaining wall we are about to design doesn't include a key so the thickness of the base that is t1 is actually 300 millimeters so now let's go over to our soil parameters um, the angle of internal friction is uh, maintained to be 30 degrees the wall friction is zero. the dry unit weight of the soil is 18 now the saturated unit weight is 20 kilonewton per meter cube so um the front field that is the passive side because the depth of our foundation is going to be 900 millimeters so let's <coughs> let's impute that the back field height is 3900 that's okay now the height of the water table is um 1500 okay um and for our design we are not including any surcharge so um let's um impute zero as our surcharge and um the the distance of distributed surcharge to be zero as well the length of distributed surcharge to be zero also the other back view and uh, front side so the bearing capacity of our soil let's use 150 um this um this was assumed uh, for this uh tutorial um normally you should carry out um a test in the lab to you know obtain your soil uh, bearing capacity to obtain your the angle of internal friction uh, once you carry out your triaxial testing in the lab you are you'll be able to get the angle of internal friction uh, you will be able to get your um soil bearing capacity as well so <clears throat> now you can see that um, after imputing our parameters our dimensions of the retaining wall that the overturning safety was satisfied um, the sliding safety also satisfied the minimum and uh, maximum uh, pressure that would develop at the front at the back of the base of retaining wall they are all satisfied and the total failure the overall failure uh, was satisfied that is greater than 1.5 so the retaining wall is actually okay in sliding okay in overturning and uh, the rest of you uh, of what we have so now let's go over to our design with a minute it will open okay it has opened actually so now let us um, impute our um, concrete grade that we'll be using so um, by default we have um, cube strength of 16 newton per millimeter squared uh, against uh, cylindrical strength of 20 uh, newton per millimeter squared so we'll be using uh, cube strength of 20 and cylinder strength of 25 for this design so we click on that so next is our rebars the the reinforcement that we have um let's employ um um high uh, yield uh, uh, steel of 410 uh, type 2 so let's use that because we want our uh, reinforcement details to be shown as y's instead of h and uh, t so uh, let's use a 410 for the purpose of this design so the diameter of our bars i don't want to include 10 mm in my design i don't want to include i want okay maybe 12 mm can be allowed you you just make choices of the uh, rebars that you want for your design uh, for this part of the world nigeria we don't actually have 13 mm steel in the market so we uncheck that now for you also allow 16 mm because we have them 20 mm we have it so apply to all members of this rebar type so we click on okay on the next is for our links um the diameter i don't want 10 mm okay by default we have 12 mm 16 mm and the rest so apply to all members of this rebar type so okay now we are going to perform uh we're going to redesign uh, this so that the the changes that we made here would reflect on the reinforcement details so you click on redesign now you can see uh, it has actually reflected so you can you can even change um, these to 20 mm or 16 mm uh, once you change to 20 mm the spacing will also increase because the the diameter of the bar has now increased so let's leave it at uh, 20 mm for example so you 
you can change this maybe to 250 uh, you can see the design is okay so most of this um for this stem back face distribution bar let's assume we make it 250 okay 250 anyone that doesn't work will show you a red mark that it is not okay so this is for economy purpose um, that is not okay so let's use um 200 so here let's employ 250 and see what happens okay 200 is okay so that's how you go about your um, reinforcement uh, details for all the bars so um having designed that uh you know we've had our returning safety to be okay sliding safety okay minimum and maximum pressure okay the total failure okay as well now let's prepare our uh detailed drawing so click on prepare drawing now once you click on detailed drawing so prepare drawing just click on this empty environment and your detail will be shown so you can see this is our the outlook of our retaining wall the dimensions shown and you can see the whip holes yeah the whip holes are shown as well uh, the whip holes are there so that when there is a capillary action um, water rises and uh, you can actually have uh, water drained off from the retaining wall because this retaining wall uh, wasn't designed to retain uh, water also so uh, it has to uh, drain off uh, water from from it so um, so that the only thing that it is retaining it is active uh, just active uh, earth pressure from from soil and the hydrostatic pressure will be drained off through these whip holes so you also have um, drainage at the uh, bottom of the at the bay at the top of the base so now this is um, your um, your reinforcement detail these are your distribution bars the distribution bars at this phase is 19 12 mm space at 200 you have 19 12 mm space at 200 as well at this phase so for the for the base you have um nine uh 12 mm at the at the at the, at the toe uh the top uh of the toe you have at the top of the heel these and the at the base as well these are uh, how the reinforcement will be uh, arranged on site so you also have your main reinforcement for the stem so you have a uh, 12 mm uh, 121 white 20 space at 250 and this side you have a uh, 121 white 12 uh, spaced at uh, 250 that's actually the transverse uh, this is actually the transverse uh, detailing of your retaining wall i also have the uh, longitudinal uh, section of your retaining wall as you can see these are the the the, the lappings uh, the lappings of the bars are shown the lap lengths are 600 for this side now you have the plan uh, detail for the base as well okay so that is it for your retaining wall um, one good thing again is that it also provides you with uh, a quantity takeoff um, the, the, the bar schedule you know and also gives you the quantity of uh, reinforcement uh, bars required for this job yeah um, I, I presume that you 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 like this video um, you are happy with uh, what you saw today and I would encourage you to please uh, like this video try and share this video as well and um, subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, oh god will bless you as you do that thank you for watching i remain my humble self engineer Nemeka Chukugoswell. well um, god bless you